Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I am going to solve a transshipment problem using IBM MyLog or PLC Flex Studio. So the problem I am considering in which we have two plants that is, that is called as source nodes and we have transshipment nodes that is two centers and then we have demand zones which is region 1, region 2 and region 3. So how we can model it? So let's first understand the math model and then we will implement that math model in CPLEX. Um, so first of all, we have the total cost that is basically the transportation cost from plants to center that is basically from I to K. So this is basically we can call as plants with respect to I index and then transshipment node with respect to K index and then demand zone with respect to J index. So from plant to a transshipment node, or you can say from source to transshipment node, the total cost we are calculating plus then from a transshipment node, or you can say from center to demand zone or the K node, we are calculating the transportation cost. So this is the total cost which we have to bear. Then we have three constraints. Number one is we have the demand constraint that that is these three region which is j so from the transshipment node we have to fulfill the demand and then we have a supply constraint so this is basically the transportation problem as well okay that that uh, with the help of this constraint that the supply cannot be greater than the ai that is the capacity of the uh, you can say source node and how it becomes the transshipment with the help of this third type of constraint with it which is called as inflow must be equal to outflow or you can say the flow conversion constraint which is also called as transshipment node constraints so these these are the transshipment nodes which are the centers so we are saying whatever the quantity comes to this uh, these particular nodes that must be gone towards the uh, demand zone so this is how we are uh, modeling it that is inflow must be equal to the outflow so let's model it into the OPL so in order to model this problem in OPL first of all as you know that we need to create a project or we can do that we will go to file new OPL project we can write down the name over here then in order to write the code we need a model file in order to clear the data we need a data file and in order to solve the problem we need our run configuration so this we also discussed in our previous video as well so once we have created a project that is a transshipment problem so in a model file that is dot mod and in a data file so in a model file we will write on the model in a data file we have a data okay and in configuration we have a configuration one which we will use to solve this model so first of all in a model file we are declaring three types of index that is plant center and region okay that is basically this one so we have plant that is i one index the second index is center which is k then we have the demand region which is region that is with respect to k so we have defined three region as well as we have declared their indices in the model file as well if you want you can declare this in the data file as well as we have uh, discussed this thing in our previous video so you can watch those videos in order to know how we can declare in the data file okay so the next thing we need to define is the parameter and the data so the first parameter in the data we have that is basically you can say the data values which are given that is we have given the unit cost from plant to center okay so that is basically the first type of variable which is CIK we have given. Similarly, we have given the CJK. CIK that is from plant to center, the cost is given. Okay, so that is CIK. Similarly, we have given the unit cost of center to region that is CKJ, right? So how we can define that one? We are saying that this is an integer type of two dimensional array and we have defined the data over here that is basically from plant one to uh, center one and then from plant uh, two to center two right so these are basically we are indicating the 
two dimensional array. Similarly, we have center to region, we are indicating the cost, right? Okay, then we have the supply as well as demand. So that means we have two types of plants. So that's why we are indicating the supply of those plants. Okay, the quantities are over here. Similarly, we have three demand zones. So in order to define that one, we have defined over here the demands value, right? So once we have declared the data, the next thing uh, after defining the indices and the parameter and the data, we need to define the decision variable. As you know that in OPL, in order to define the decision variable, we can use the keyword D bar that is defined variable. Float plus is basically indicating that the quantity can be fractional, but it should be positive. So right now we are solving a linear programming problem. So basically, so that is float plus, then the first quantity, which is X I K, that is from plant to center, which is basically, we are talking about this one, X I K. And then we have the from center to region, which is from K to J. That is another decision variable. So once we have defined the decision variable, the next thing we need to define the objective function. So in order to define the objective function in OPL, we will use the keyword D express. Okay, then float transport cost is equal to, this is the first, which is from plant to center. Okay, that's what we are saying from sum I in plant K in center. And then we are multiplying the quantity from I to K with unit per unit cost that is from I to K. Similarly, from center to region, we multiply the unit cost with the quantity which we are shipping from center to region. So this is a total cost. So this one is from plant to center and this one from center to region. So this is a total cost which we have saved in a transport cost. Okay, the name of the variable, then we are uh, declaring the model. So we want to minimize this total transportation cost. So minimize this one. Subject to, we have three constraints. One is that, first one is a demand constraint. That is this one. Okay, so we are saying for all regions, so that means for all demand zone, we want to fulfill the demand of that from the centers, right? The quantity which we should ship uh, from center to the region must be greater than or equal to the demand of the region. The next one, we have the flow conversion constraint or you can say inflow must be equal to outflow. So we are saying that for all center, the sum of the quantity which we are, uh, which uh, it is coming towards that center must be equal to the going quantity from the center. The last one, we have the supply constraint that we are saying that for all plants, for all in plants, the quantity the supply must be quantity of the supply must be less than or equal to the capacity of that basically plant or you can say from the supply of that particular plant. So once we have declared the model, now we can solve this um, OPL model or you can say we can solve this transshipment problem. So how we can do that, we have to drag and drop this model and the data in a configuration, right click, run this configuration and we would be able to get the answer in a solution tab. So right now this OPL is solving it. So in a solution tab, so they are saying that we have to bear this much cost and how much quantity which we are shipping from a plant to a center. And then this is again plant to center. Similarly, this is how much quantity which we are shipping from center to all three regions. So this thing you can also observe over here uh, in this particular window. So this is the objective function answer. So in a decision variables, we can see the same answer that how much quantity which we are shipping from plant to center one and center two and similarly uh, from plant two to center one and center two. Similarly from cent uh, center one to region one, region two and so on. So I hope you understand. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.